Hello and welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage and today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin. Before we jump into the analysis, I just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel and you, or you haven't subscribed already because there's a lot of people watching which haven't subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button so you get kept up to date. Turn on those bell notifications and leave us some feedback down below. Okay, so let's get into it. So there's a few things we were talking about um, yesterday regarding this and we were looking at the potential of either this potential being an ending diagonal within this or alternatively looking for this to have completed into this high point and then actually what we have is a flat correction here for a fourth wave a fifth wave and then we're actually starting to move down for this um for this teal fourth wave there is also a count we can count this third wave into into this high and this could be a much bigger correction where this is an a this is an a into this low point this becomes a b and then we're looking for a deeper move so I'm going to give some targets for each of these options so that we've got some 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 basically some ideas of where this price might go if uh, if we start to break down a bit deeper. So the deepest correction um that I would be looking at would be if that if actually this third wave is back here and this is all a corrective structure because then what we'd be looking for like I said is the potential that we have this as an A wave all of this would then become a B wave into potentially this high point here. And then we'd be looking for this to break down as a C wave. So the, th the thing with this is um, basically we'd be looking for that 1.618. And we'd take it from the highest point here as well. So if we go down into this low point, we come up into here. This 1382 to this 1.618 would actually bring us back into this um into this into this zone here. And basically that's what we'd be looking for. There's another way of working this out. And if we drag this from the bottom here and we get it onto the top of this, let's move here. Let's remove this one for a second. We can also just measure one uh 0.618 off the top of the a wave so it's possible that we could actually come down deeper here. so even as low as this 196 uh, if this is a abc the current structure here isn't um isn't great because if we were going to look at it as a as a five wave move from here where this is an a or this is wave one two effectively we've come back up and we've crossed this high point so either it would have to develop as a diagonal where this is a one into here this becomes a two, we form a three, four, and a five, and then that would be the completed move. Either that, or we'd have to look at this as a one, two, this would become a one, two, and then we're actually looking to break down deeper. The thing with this is actually it would look to push us much deeper within this zone, um, and because we have this overlap here, basically a third wave would bring us all the way down to this 19, um, 19,208, and that would be a third wave position. Then we'd have to move up for a fourth wave and then back down. So if we do get a move like this, actually what we would be probably looking at is targeting much lower in this zone towards this 18800 zone. So if we do get a deeper move here, then basically it would indicate to me that this third wave is actually ended back here and that this has all become a, um, a fourth wave correction, but just much deeper into this zone. So within this, like I said, that that's the that's sort of the deepest corrective side that I can see within that. Um, the other way we can we can look at it is like I said that either this third wave is com is completed into here then, and what we can look at is the fact that this whole structure here could be a um an A B and a C to the downside. So if that's the case, what we'd be looking for is off of this high point here come down into there up into this high we can see we've already hit that 1.618 of measuring it this way the alternate way of measuring this is just measuring the a wave and then looking for that 618 on top so we can see that we've hit that target as well so for the most part there's no reason why this has to continue to the downside if we're looking at it as an a a b and a c to the downside here um so it's possible that we could have this as an ABC completed, and then we're going to form this as a WX, and we're going to push one more one more time down for Y, which is possible because we've come back up here and we've crossed this. We've crossed this, so there's a bit of overlap there. So if that were the case, what we'd have to look at is the potential that this whole this whole move here is a W 
potentially we move back up for an X and then we've come then we're going to look to push down for a Y wave so that's this is what we'll be looking for if we don't manage to hold this low point of uh, 20,407 if we don't manage to hold that point basically what we would be looking for here potentially is an X wave so this X wave would be looking to move up it's already come up to this 50 percent so i mean it's met it's met the requirement it is also possible that it becomes a bit more complex within this x wave itself where this becomes an a we push down for a b and then we push back up for a c wave and potentially look to retest this um this channel line if that's the case what we could be looking for is basically like i said uh this is a as a connector wave as an x wave so basically that would then look to um the problem with this is that we've already got what looks to be a five wave move down here so i'd be looking for a zigzag at the minimum and whether that zigzag manages to hold this um hold this w uh, wave low will tell us basically whether we have got um whether we've completed this x wave and we're looking to push down or we are basically looking to move up one more time for an additional leg like we have marked here i'm gonna just throw a fib on the reverse side of this uh let's get it up into this high point let's delete this so we've actually come down to the 702 already it is possible we could come back up find rejection and push back down, down towards the 786 area but i wouldn't really want to lose this 854 at a maximum this 20,511. if we move if we lose that it becomes quite likely we're going to set another low here which could just mean that we're having a flat correction in this x wave it could also mean that um, we're actually beginning this drop for this Y wave. So this Y wave off of the current of the current area would actually indicate a drop to around. Let's measure this. This twenty thousand eighty seven area. If we do get another three wave move to the downside, yeah, we just got to be careful within this because we've got a five wave move here and we're getting an additional five wave move um, playing out here to the downside. Just need to be careful that we don't start to break down from here um and if we did break down more from this position like i said it would either be that we're in a bigger a b c pattern like this or potentially we could look at the fact that i don't really like the structure as a diagonal just because of this this bit here is a bit too overlapping for me and there's not not clear um structure here but we can argue that potentially within this we did complete a diagonal into this high point in which case that third wave would be here so at the moment we just need to see how this plays out if this is if this is the case what we could do is form basically a triangle here a zigzag um what was this move down here is it two uh, it's a bit complex so it's possible we could actually just form a deeper zigzag here and we actually look to push down into this 18 800 area or potentially like i said these are the areas we're looking out for if we do manage to push down into this box zone we could actually look to break back to the upside from these areas uh, and then look for this fifth wave but we need to just bear in mind we we haven't got confirmation of it yet so it is also possible that this move could just complete into here and this could be the start of a new trend to the downside where this is a one two three four five this becomes it's a bit small if we um, come up again, potentially either that or this is a one, two, one, two, and then we're going to start to break to the downside. If that's the case, I mean, it's hard to say whether this little corrective bit is completed, but if it was completed into this high point, basically a confirmation of a bigger move to the downside would come by crossing this 20,063 if we cross that 20,063 what we'd be looking for is the potential that this is then going to be a zigzag pattern and basically we have this as a one two three four and then we'd be looking for that fifth wave to the downside from there if we get a zigzag like this uh, we can argue it's a w x and a y on a bigger scale as well um but yeah we should we should find support within this zone we've got to be careful if we move down past if we move down past this 19,213 what we'd have to look at then is a bigger structure here and what we'd be looking for then is this is a this is a wave one two potentially into this high 
a wave three down to this one six one eight a four and a five which would look to put us down here in a five wave move from this point so like i said that does if that if we do get a five wave move down into this zone it is fine in the um the fourth wave scenario where we look at this from back here but we'd have to be careful on how how this reacts from here if this is the case and we have this as an abc once this um once this fourth wave comes in we'd want we want to see structure we want to see structure developing to the upside as a five wave move and it will want to hold that low point so this is something that we just got to be sort of bearing in mind that if we do get this as a as a fourth wave to the downside like this and then um, we set this five this fifth wave low we should have no business coming into that zone again so if you're going to be looking to try and um, trade this this is not financial advice this is just what i'd be doing if i was going to be trying to trade this um once this fifth wave completed if you were trying to trade this um, fifth wave to the upside effectively your stop would have to be at the end of this move so you just have to keep that in mind that if if it um the, what i'm looking out for here basically i just want to explain sort of the logic is if we are going to start breaking down from here what we would be looking for is effectively this could complete into here and then we just fail to develop the other the other fourth and fifth waves to the upside and what we have from this point is this would become a one would pull back up for this wave two, potentially come back and retest some of these zones and then we'd look to break down further for a three four and a five and if we do move down towards this area here of this 18 18 1800 807 effectively our uh, rejection zone 0 0.618 would be right on this right on this area here so you'd have to be watching this move to the upside you'd want to start to see this um get some legs to it and look to push up one more time like i said though it is possible if we're looking at it as a as a smaller as a smaller um abc move that we could actually be completed into this low and instead we could be looking to form a one two and then we look to move up though that would be solely based on holding this twenty thousand four hundred area if that's the case and we're looking at this as a completed move and we aren't going to become more complex we'd be looking at this potentially as a one two and then looking to push to the upside so we wouldn't really want to like i said um, within this zone we wouldn't really want to lose go much lower than this uh seven eight six ideally we could touch on to that we could push down to this eight five four but we don't want to lose this low of this twenty thousand four hundred and seven and that would be looking for the potential of having this come up as a one this would become an a a b and a c wave to the downside potentially one more drop and then look for that third wave to start playing up here okay so there's a few options here we'll try to keep you up to date as best we can um, we just got to be careful with this move because there is a lot of overlap and a lot of ways we can read this move in the upside or in the top end of this area so just got to keep an eye on it okay gonna leave it there i hope everyone found the video useful if you did please smash that like button if you're watching the videos and you haven't subscribed already why not hit that subscribe button helps the channel out and it'll also help keep you up to date with all the latest videos turn on the bell notifications and leave us some feedback down below what is your thoughts do you think that the bottom's in or do you think that we have more downside to come always happy to hear from you guys i hope that everyone has a great day and we'll see each other in the next video take care out there everybody